Hello everyone, and welcome to this video on the Simple Sumo Bot. Step one, how to connect your robot to your device using EV3 Classroom. Once you've installed and opened up your app, click on New Project. Then you're gonna click on the Connect button in the top left corner. My advice, follow these instructions precisely. Turn on your brick by clicking the gray button. And now on the top of the robot, you're gonna click the dark gray button in the center and that will turn on the robot. There are two ways to connect your device to your robot. The preferable one is Bluetooth. It's easy, you don't have to have your robot near your computer all the time, but there is a second way as well and that's to connect via USB cable. I'm gonna go through that first but if you can, stick to Bluetooth, which I'll go over afterwards. To connect your robot, attach the USB to your computer. And the other end, you're going to attach to the PC port at the back of your Sumo Bot. Once you plug in your USB cord, it will immediately connect to the EV3 Classroom software. You can see up here you have color sensors on 1 and 4, ultrasonic sensor on 2, and your driving motors on B and C. If I click on this uh, EV3 brick, which now has a green circle, I can see that everything is connected, and I can also see the readings, which is awesome. I highly suggest, right over here, you can hardly see it, there are three dots. It's going to ask you to rename your EV3 brick. If you're working amongst other people who are also working on EV3 robots, I strongly suggest you do this so you can differentiate your robot from theirs. Like so. Then I'm going to click X. And I'm now ready to use my robot. Now I'm going to take you through Bluetooth connection. When your EV3 brick is turned on, you're going to click to the right, to the wrench menu, scroll down, Make sure Bluetooth is turned on. Make sure iPhone, iPad, iPod is turned off. First thing you're going to do is click the connect button. Your device will now search for your robot. Once you've found your robot, click connect. It's gonna ask you to confirm. Then it's gonna give you a pass key screen. It's important you delete the one, two, three, four and replace it with a zero, 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 four zeros. It's very important you do this precisely. Then confirm. I accept it on my robot. I am now going to change the passcode. easiest thing in the world to so zero 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 and done once you've done this click select and you're now connected you have color sensors on one and four ultrasonic on two motors on B and C click on the EV3 brick which is now green check that everything is connected correctly you're going to click on the three dots. Rename your brick. Again, extremely important if you're working amongst many other people who are also using EV3 robots, that each of you has a different name on your robot, so it's easy to differentiate yours from theirs. So I'm gonna name mine something else. You're now ready to start programming. Thank you very much.